Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to be doing a video on how to get all the endings for Mortuary Assistant. So I want to make this video quick and brief because at the end of the day it's not very difficult. It just depends on certain circumstances especially when it comes to the basement ending and uh, the closure ending. Um, but essentially, they're still very simple when you know what you're doing. Um, before we get into that, I would like to ask if you guys enjoyed this video or will enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And uh, if you enjoy it even more, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next. It all really does help, especially when you're a small YouTuber like myself. So I would really appreciate it. Um, also, if you are interested in full gameplay, um, I also have that as well. I've done all of this, I've covered all of this. The link will be in the description. Well, the link will be up there and it'll be in the description. Um, so, we'll begin with the first video, the first ending. The first ending is very, very simple. Um, and that's that you successfully embalm one of the people you discover what who's possessed out of the three ones uh, the three bodies and you also make sure that you have the right name now that's important because I've done that I've you know got the name wrong a couple of times when you find the right name you put it into the tablet uh, the four symbols and you put it on the body that you have chosen and you burn it uh, if you're correct, you get the right end, you get the first end in. Um, one little tidbit here, uh, make sure that you get the right body also. Uh, the demon likes to uh, trick you into believing that it might be another one, so you might get um, markings on a body. I've had that before, and very rare, but um, I found that sometimes they haunt as well with a different body. But in most cases, every time that I have got more than one haunting with one particular body, I know it's that. Also, each time that I've had the, the there's this scar that the, or tattoo, it looks like a tattoo um, on their wrist. Uh, that's also been the sign that that is the body. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, the second one, do it all over again. Do the same thing and find the right body it'll be more of a like you know cutscene that i'll do a continuation of that um i don't want to go into too specific detail as i said this was a no spoilers video so um yeah just go through that you'll get the second cutscene um the third one <laughs> it's very simple um you put up it's rather you purposely do it or in most cases you'll get it wrong maybe the first or second time um you rather burn the wrong body or find the wrong name. Uh, very simple, and then you'll get the uh, well, the third ending. <laughs> uh, the fourth ending is one of the more complex ones. Let's to say this is one that. So with the f with the fourth and the third, the fifth ending, it's all based on the hallucinations, and I, you know I, I've said that I believe that. You know certain things should be able to unlock it but it's random you know so but with the fourth ending the basement ending uh what you have to do is you have to as, you, as soon as you come into the bar in barman room um take your left and the drawers where you keep the key cards go to the bottom drawer it'll be a cloth and you move that cloth and there's a key pick up that key um, and then if you get the hallucination that you need, which will be this bunker, um, if you get this bunker, you go into that bunker, it will give you, uh, well, basically a ton of ma uh, mannequins around. Uh, on top of these mannequins' heads is a code, yeah, and then above the code is these squares. Um, I do believe there's six uh, numbers, and on the top of the head, there will be a white square, uh, rather it will be the first white square, second white square to sixth. 
you need to get in the order. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, it'll give you the correct code. Because then when you come out of the hallucination, you need to go to the drawer or, or the cupboard, open the cupboard, and there will be a key, key code. You put the code that you just you just you know uh, found in the mannequins on that key code, and um, it'll give you the basement key. You then go into the basement. Um, you use that old key that you found earlier in the drawer. Open the second door, and then you go through that whole scene. Whilst going through that whole scene, then you you just go on with your your, your embalming session. Uh, you get the correct body, and it'll give you the basement ending. Uh, honestly, that is probably the one of the most difficult ones. After that, you're pretty much breezing. Um, and the fifth and technically final um, ending closure. Um, there is one more bonus ending, which I will tell you about in a minute. But the fifth ending is... So, when you're in your home, right at the beginning, below your TV, go into the drawer, there will be a box. You open that box and there will be coins and a necklace. You have to pick up them coins and that necklace. Um, then you go to work. When you go to work, then where your key card is in that drawer, you go to that drawer and then your coins will be there as well. So you need to pick them up as well. Now, yet again, this is dependent on the hallucinations, but you will get a hallucination where you are standing or hanging with your arms open in the mortuary. You go to that and you put the coins in your hand. You put your coins, after you've put the coins in your hand, you get on with your day and you get the correct body, you get the correct body, you get the correct sigil and name, then you will get the closure ending. And I highly recommend that you guys wait till the end to do this one, because I did myself and it, it really, really topped the ending for that game and it was a really, really lovely ending. So yeah, I'm not going to say much more, but I highly recommend that will be your last ending to go for. Um, now there is a bonus ending and it's technically not an official ending but it does have an official cutscene so I class it. But if you essentially don't burn the body and don't do anything and you just let the demon possess you, it, it's like a timer and if you keep going with the timer um, you'll get this intense music and then a couple of minutes later you'll pass out. It'll give you a cutscene. That is another official ending, but unofficial ending. But as it has a cutscene, I think that is one. So I would try it out because it's a pretty cool cutscene. And if you're going to go for the basement ending, if you get this before you get the basement ending, it's kind of like a little Easter egg for that. So yeah, I highly recommend that. Honestly, guys, I hope this guy, this has been. Uh, you know good enough information for you i don't want to go into too much detail because i want to try and like like when i was doing this and i needed help it was all showing the endings and like if you're someone who's wanted to play this you don't want to really see the endings before you play it so yeah i hope this guy's helped this helped guys um apart from that uh be sure to touch uh subscribe button and that bell button um and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and uh any questions Hit me up in the comments guys, I answer all my comments, it takes me a while but I get there. <laughs> Apart from that, thank you very much and goodbye.